The Giver is so amazing. It is all about a boy being assigned to a specific job that seems impossible to handle. The book starts by going into a boy's past memory and as he looks back and relives the memory over and over again and recovers his feelings during that time. Though his feelings are weak as he hadn't been exposed to the right words to describe his emotions. This memory would be described as blood curdling and terrifying. This boy is named Jonas. This character named Jonas is living in a perfect community. And in this community, there are no memories of the past, no memories of pain, love, hurt or sorrow. The elders of the community chose to have perfection so that everyone would be the same. No one could make a decision as they couldn't even choose what colour they would prefer because in this community everything is black and white. Throughout this book, Jonas lived his childhood life listening to strict rules and trying his best not to break any of them. But when it comes to the ceremony of twelve, which would be specified as a celebration for those who are turning 12 years old, Jonas's life changed drastically. Jonas finds out that he was chosen to be the next receiver and this specific role involves receiving all the memories from the past generations. He learns things that he would never consider before he turned 12. The moment that most shocked him was when he was allowed to ask a question or ask something from individuals in the community and they had to reply. When Jonas was given this authority, he really wanted to know what people meant when they said a person would be released from the community if they were too old or if two individuals were twins and if any person had broken the community rules at least three times. When Jonas found out that being released meant that the individual would be injected with a specific fluid and after a few seconds they would fall asleep to never wake again, Jonas was heartbroken. After this distressing scene, Jonas decided that he would leave the community and the community would then receive all the memories that Jonas once acquired. This was so that the community could feel what Jonas was feeling and have the emotions of love, hate, sorrow and hurt, like just like Jonas did. Jonas set off on his journey and while looking back at the community, he knew that he was making the right decision. Do you think Jonas will return to his perfect community? Read the book to find out. This book is mesmerizing and has many exhilarating events which will take you to many places. I would highly recommend that you read the book so that you can travel with Jonas and the rest of the interesting characters in the book The Giver. Once again, this is Kate's podcast and thank you for listening.